just always advocate for what's going to bring you the most peace, your decisions, and just knowing that you can make tweaks and you can decide to go with a different provider. You can decide to like, you know, maybe you do a water birth and then you decide, okay, I want to do this or you birth in bed and then you want to do a water, you know, whatever. Like there's, I think it's just so important that we, because especially as women, we can carry some of this to make people feel bad or we don't want to offend or we don't want to whatever. It's like, it's so important that we are being true and honest to what feels like it's going to bring us the most peace and birth. Because I think ultimately that is going to be, like you said, the safest for us if we feel really good about our choices. So we did end up switching and having a different midwife. Um, and I fully expected to, you know, go overdue again because, you know, that had happened with our first. And I ended up, well, my due date was wrong, but we thought I was 38 weeks. So I thought I was, I ended up going into labor at 38 weeks, which we found out later based just on his like APGAR and everything that he, he was actually like 40 weeks. So he was more like right on time when my due date was just like off because, you know, I didn't really have, I had one little cycle kind of like I cycled mm. once and then I got pregnant. So, you know, sometimes it takes your body like and everything as you're like postpartum, like everything right. leveling out and stuff. Right. So anyway, my due date was off. Ended up going into labor what I thought was two weeks early. And it was just such an amazing, redemptive experience. We did another water birth, but we did it like in our clawfoot bathtub in our like 120 year old house that we lived in. And our midwife was, you know, the new midwife we had was there. It was just, I just feel like felt such a mercy and like a hand of God and just like bringing so much peace in that, in that experience. And I think I was so thrown off that I went into labor early, you know, because I just wasn't expecting that. So I think that was like a gift of God also, you know, just that it kind of happened so quickly in that sense. Anyway, it just was such a phenomenal experience. I didn't tear at all. I pushed like two or three times night and day difference from my first birth, no tearing, so much. I mean, from were you afraid you were going to tear again badly? Yeah, for sure. I think I was just like, I don't know. I think it's like, if that's your only experience, yeah. you know, maybe this is my new, maybe this is my normal. Maybe this is just right. what it's going to be for me. But it was just, you know, I think my full labor in total, I, I started having contractions around 10 or 1030 at night. And he was born at like 430 in the morning. So my labor time was cut in half, like such a redemptive experience. And I just walked away from my second birth, just feeling like, oh my gosh, like it can be different. Like just because you have one birth experience one way doesn't mean that that has to define all of your birth experiences. Oh, yes. So that was that's so a word good. for somebody listening right now. Yeah, <laughs> so it was many just good so gold nuggets here. So healing and just like my postpartum experience was just so much better. I mean, 